even if you have to give it a thumbs down because this was such a boring video. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Let's have a look at the studio today. So you saw the backdrop for the first time last week and I thought I'd show you a little bit more. It's been on my wish list for a long time to sort this studio out. So first of all, here um, has changed a great deal. We have now got an, actually a dining table sat here. It's the same range of table that we have in the living room, but this one is rectangular. The one in the living room is round. Um, and for many years, that's where I was filming in the other room. So the intention was to have a similar table in here. So we have the wood um, underneath as I'm filming and I'm knitting and it's a nice backdrop. It's really natural. I'm actually set up to do a little bit more filming today. I have some bits here that I am going to be putting on camera. And that's for a few weeks time when the new collection starts getting released. So you have a sneak peek here already. So that's the table. What we also have in here, something which is one of the very first things I did, and that is the chest of drawers. We had an Ikea unit there with kind of holes in it. <laughs> It was one of those big ones where you could put boxes in um, and it really was not useful. Those boxes were far too deep, I couldn't find what I needed and I knew in here I wanted a desk without drawers because then I can move and sit wherever I want on this table. Um, so I have a chest of drawers right next to me as I sit at the desk and it is really useful. All of the stationery is in the top drawer, I've got all the tech gadgets next to that as well stuff for the camcorder, all sorts of things. It really is a very helpful space. And then I have my list of business books and my notice boards up there as well. Um, so that is the first thing that we did. I replaced that IKEA unit with a chest of drawers and it's been really helpful. The bottom two drawers have knitted up patterns so they are samples and they're all the things that we used for photographs and I keep them in there to come out in case I want them again or if I want to just show them to you on camera or if you ask questions about them I can actually dig them out and say so this is how you do it or that's what it looks like or something like that and that is the very first thing that we changed. Next was the table. Now let me move you around the room. Um, I thought it might be fun to just do this as I'm packing up a kit. The first thing I do when I'm packing up a kit is go straight to the computer I will have an email notification that um, someone has placed an order. So I go through to the website and I print off the delivery note. That is what goes in the box. Um, and especially if it's going overseas, then we have to have that delivery note in there. It's just a confirmation of everything that's in the box. But what it actually does is help me move around the room and make sure that I've got everything that you've ordered. It's all written there on a piece of paper and I can just check it off as I move around the room. So once that's all printed, I get hold of a basket and I pick everything out. So yes, we need needles for this order. And of course I can pick up any other tools or accessories that you might have ordered as well. Um, they're all easily accessible. Um, but basically one of the main things that you most likely would have ordered is yarn. And I can go straight to the yarn and get hold of that quite quickly. The next part of that is finding the bags and I store that all in one corner so everything there is there. The printer, the um, bags that I fill up for your knitting kits, um, I also store the little tapestry sewing needles as well that um, you will use when you're sewing up seams and also um, in there I keep all of the knitting leaflets as well. Once that's all um, found I will put the sticker on the bag and as soon as that's done we can start packing up your box. Um, I do keep a stash of boxes underneath the console desk and the console desk is just an extra space with the printer with the weighing scales for the postage as well. It's all in one place. I don't have to have it on my desk, which is obviously where I do the knitting and I do the filming as well. It means that I've got that space just set up and it's clear and it's ready to go whenever I get a new order. And yeah, I just fill the bag up. I will wrap the tools or any other any needles that you ask for in tissue paper separately. 
and as they're going through the postage system they're not rattling around inside the box. Um, so yeah that all goes in a box that's all ready and organised for you and then I will print off your postage label um, and I've got the weighing scales there as well that, so that I know how much it weighs when I'm organising the label. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the studio. It's a space that I'm really happy with at the moment. I know we're going to need a bigger space as time moves on. Um, as we start um, fulfilling more orders day after day, um, week after week, then we will need more space because we have to store the yarn that we need every week. We can't have an order in from the um, yarn uh, manufacturer every three days. <laughs> it would just be nigh on impossible. So yeah, we're going to need a larger space, um, but for now, this works for us and I'm really happy with it. It's enclosed, it's away from the main house, I don't get disturbed if the door goes or um, you know if the phone rings. We're happy, I'm happy in this space at the moment and I've made it work for me. I think that's the lesson, it's create a dream studio without it um, being a dream studio. It's, it's a really nice space. I'm really happy with the furniture. I'm happy that I've been able to fill it with so much colour and see everything as well. Being able to see everything is a big part of how my brain works. So um, yeah, I'm really happy that I have that space to do that too. And for any of you wondering, there's, there's a little bit more yarn storage. I've still got the blanket box that I used to store my yarn in. So that's all in there with a few bags of yarn that will then go on the shelf once that stock is depleted. You know, I've got four bags in there that haven't even been opened. So there's a little bit of extra storage, but not a lot. <laughs> Let me know where you store your yarn. I'm really curious. And if you want to sort your yarn out, now is the great time to do it. It's August. Um, in the southern hemisphere you're possibly thinking oh I've had enough of knitting I just can't wait to go to the beach <laughs> then it's a good time to sort your yarn out say okay I've been knitting where is everything put it all together bring it together decide if there are any projects you want to finish before the season finishes or anything you want to finish um, and then start new projects maybe for the summer but decluttering your yarn now knowing what you've got can be a really big help for when you are just knitting a few things maybe through your summer um, and then to the new year you can um, dig them all out again and say right I want to knit some winter stuff and also if you're in the northern hemisphere such as me in the UK then perhaps you're thinking right it's time I need to dig those needles out and get serious perhaps you've been knitting a little bit or just watching videos um, to you for YouTube just to keep your needles clicking a little bit over the summer um, and you really want to get serious about your knitting again in September go through your yarn if you didn't do the yarn declutter with us in the spring then I've got a 10 day declutter um, challenge for you if you want to go and sign up for that I'll stick that in the comments and if you did do it in the spring Go and have a look at it all. Make sure you know where it is. Perhaps you've been knitting with some of it this summer and you've forgotten that you've used it. You just need to know where it all is. I think just having a sort through, collecting your thoughts, um, so you know where you are and you can maybe start knitting for Christmas. We might be talking about that next week. Maybe, you know, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not telling any secrets, but I think we might be. Do join me for that next week and I will um, see you again soon. Do give this a like. Like I said last week, it's a really helpful um, bonus for the um, video. YouTube knows that you like it then. I mean, even if you have to give it a thumbs down because this was such a boring video. No, it wasn't. Um, then it tells you, YouTube that you've bothered to watch. <laughs> but yes, thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happiness. Don't blink.